All right, so I can't find the other camera, so we're gonna play with this one. Joe's here. Say hi, Joe. I'm gonna. I would like to use those stock motor mounts. We'll be alright. I think we'll. I think it'll be a lot easier than what we think. I don't know. So, I think there's only one way to find out. Uh, we need to find that camera first, though. Camera, because I want to. I want to film it. Camera. All right, so yeah, that's our home. We're gonna uh, try and find the head mount GoPro wherever that I lost it at. So good, too, Brian. And then uh, we'll go from there. So we'll catch back up with you guys. All right, so we're back, and guess what? The camera was in the camera drawer. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? All right, so first thing we need to do is take these abortion plates off. Whoa, those are nice and beautiful. <laughs> right, so first thing first, we're going to take those off. Ooh, what is that? did you notice that the power steering pump looks an awful lot like the power steering pump we just pulled off? Uh, I like that. I do, in fact, like that. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you look... I believe that one, this one right here, should thread right out, and we should be able to thread in the one that needs to go to it. I like that a lot. Yes, sir. Please That'll do. Okay, what year is this, Adam? I don't know. I know nothing about it. It's a 12 valve, so somewhere between uh, 80 something and 96. Let's play the U.S. standard game. Oh, yeah, this is going to be metric. Metric? I don't know. I'm shooting standard. I'm shooting that those bolts are going to be three quarters. Is that what you're going with? That's what I'm going with. Definitely not three quarters, but... I'm going to go with they're not even all the same bolt. We're going to a bunch of wrenches. Um, where's this zoop zoop? Oh, it's right here on top. Would you, would you literally look at that? It's probably 15. Yeah, no, maybe. Uh, I think it's either a 15 or a 9-16, I don't know if it's the same or not. Wow. It's convert over. But if it's not 9-16, it's metric. Yeah, yeah. Metric? Yeah. Probably 15. You got the gun? I do. Oh, we can't say gun. We can't? Oh, this is... Yeah. I want to say Colin was the one who started calling him that, and we... Just adopted it. Tell me about these bolts weren't grade eight. Do you snap it? No, but huh. grade eight. Are they not? No. How do you know? Coloring of the bolt? Eh. Listen, you can't judge a bolt by its color. Yeah, yeah you can. You absolutely can. This is good steel. I mean, it was. It was cut by a guy who knew what he was doing. Yeah. And maybe Ray Charles. Oh my god. Were those, those ones even tight? Uh, my top one was not. And this was all cut from plasma cut. Uh, uh, yeah. Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that it's, motor was secured. It was not where. Booger weld. Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't even look at that yet. So that's when you drop a weld and you just weld over it. That'll, that's, you know what that is right there? That'll do. That, yeah, that's exactly what that'll I was going to say. Do. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Well, so you can see how it's going to go in there. Yeah, where it's going to go in there, roughly. And... Got it. Got it. All right, let's. Okay, so it looks like we have to go that side of the, the truck some. Yeah, no, somebody played with a lot of stuff in here. Why does it feel like we're caught on something? Because it's how heavy this fucking motor is, dude. We are free flow. We are free flowing, dude. This thing is heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. Oh, we are caught on something. Oh. That's why it's, it's like it felt like something was holding us up. All right, stop. We're hitting somewhere in the back. No, we're hitting the the pull the the. Oh, there you go. The slings hitting. Uh, what the fuck was that? 
Oh, that's the bottom. bottom bushing. Okay. Yeah, we need to go uh, back like a lot. Yeah. You go back another five inches? Yeah, the problem is that. Can't go down. Well, we can't go back. Can't do anything right now. The sling is effing us right in the A. Alright, well. I think what we're gonna have to do is bring it back out, set it back down, and bolt those to here. And get rid of the you know I see you see what I'm saying? Alright, so We've run into our first issue. Not saying I'm too surprised by that. So we're gonna uh, play a few things and uh, get some shit figured out and we will check back in, hopefully if we remember when we go to put it back in again. <laughs> all right, all right. so we have figured out some things. And mainly that is, uh, it's gonna fit. <laughs> so we got a spot where it looks semi-level. Uh, we need to figure out a bunch of things from here. One we need to figure out how we're going to center and level the motor in the frame i haven't really figured that out i need to look up we need to look up and see what kind of a uh, drivetrain angle we need to put in this bad boy because i'm sure it's going to need a bit of a drivetrain angle and then once we can figure out how, where our measurement points are where are we going to measure to and from in order to center. find out where we're center because we can't really go off the cab we have to go oh, off the frame yeah. um so once we figure that out we can then use jack stands and whatnot to get it exactly where we want it and set it and then we can build our mounts which we have everything to build them because i don't think you need to build it needs to be built at a half inch <laughs> i think the uh what do we got I think we got three eighths plate right here that'll do just fine for it. Why can't we use these mounts? These mounts are great. Yeah, they are something. They're they are magnificent. they are something. Oh, don't worry, I'll be keeping that metal for something. I just don't think we need to use it for that. Oh no wait, that metal's old. Allison is this? This isn't an Allison. This is a Cummings yeah, twelve valve. That's that's what I meant. But yeah, so that's the stuff we got to figure out where we're gonna go with. Uh, some angles, some dangles. Once we get that all settled up, we'll knock out a quick set of we'll knock out a quick set of mounts, and then this thing will have its new home. The other nice thing that'll be nice to see is um, how much the motor takes away our high riding effect we got going with our tires here. So this this weighs about five hundred pounds more, twice as much as a four fifty four. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me one bit. I don't think so. Not I don't think good. for this thing that's going to be terrible for the ride. Cause we want to look good and have fun doing it. I would say solid mounted if you weren't doing Full work. Yeah. But because they're doing that, I wouldn't solid mount that. I don't want to solid mount it. I never did. But okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and reuse the uh, original mounts and we'll go from there. Worst case scenario, they don't work. We can step them up to urethane mounts. You know what I mean? Cause they make urethane mounts for these trucks. So if I can retain that, cause worst case scenario, say that bracket looks like it's bending right here we can always um stiffen it i can always upgrade it and whatnot i just want to keep these rubber mounts you know what i mean mm -hmm. and as long as i mean even if it's pushing all the power you know if it's pushing down on it as long as it has some wiggle to it that's really what i'm trying to accomplish all right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna move some things and uh we'll check back in with you guys once we get a little uh Closer to looking like we know what the hell we're doing. All right, so we got the motor in, we got it all centered up and kicked back about five degrees, was from what we could tell. And uh, we're starting to mock up motor mounts. So we see we got a piece of cardboard up in there. That's gonna be our motor plates. And then right now, Joe is cutting out the side pieces so we can mock up the angles we need. We've already got this uh, bad boy right here, which looks like, like some sort of a uh, arrowhead i guess so this goes right in here fits in between our deals right here and then 
the angle lines up with the plate, and this works for both sides. Um, they're somewhere around here. They might be on the other side. So yeah, this is going to be that. The plate works on both sides. This will be the one for the uh, P side. And then we're doing the driver's side one right now because it's a little bit different. And once we get that situated, we're going to go and uh, make up some uh, make up some mounts. All right. So that's the passenger driver's side forward. Yeah. Look at that, they're pretty much the same Except there and there. It's just for whatever reason that angle's different. Which we may have to we'll cut it to what this says because it says it, and, we'll and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Here. I'd rather play with it a little bit here than cut everything out here. Alright, so that's the plan. We're gonna uh, run up to Joe's shop and uh do a little work. We'll catch you guys when we get back. We're back with parts. We're making arrowheads does definitely look like that. All right, so yeah, we gotta cut these up um, and then cut these ones up. We already did these when they were here, when we were, because they were easy to do. So we just uh, cut out our plates, drilled our holes, all that good stuff. Joe's gonna see if they actually fit. Where are the bolts? Are these the bolts? Mahani. I really hope those are perfect. <laughs> they gotta be because that is it's well, tight. Some, oh. Or forward. Hold on. See if you can get any of the other ones in. I know I can get this one. Probably not in. <laughs> no, you just gonna he's gonna wind them out like like you talked about. All right. They're all they're all good. All right, we just gotta make a little bit. All just need to be locked out a little bit. All right, so yeah, we gotta do a little bit of work to that, and uh, I gotta cut some stuff up. So we're gonna get to that, and we'll check back in once we're done. All right, all right, all right. So we've made some progress. Let me show you what we got going on here. We've got that mount tacked in and looking good. Well, that's all right. And now we just need to do the same thing over here. So we've got this flat plate over here that I am uh, bolting in currently. I'm trying to find all the hardware. Being less than cooperative on that. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna mount all that in, cut up the other side, drill out the bottom holes and put that all together over there, tack it out and then I'll pull everything out weld up it's gonna get a top plate that's gonna go up in here it's gonna get some gussets going on either side just to make sure we don't twist them and uh yeah should be good to go I'll check back in with you guys once i get it off once i get the other side tacked back in and i get them both off over to the welding bench then i can uh check back in with you guys show you what they look like and get them all welded all right so i got the bracket all done did some gussets there on the side as you can see and then did the box across the top it's got plenty of room for bolts there and there, welded it all up. Like I said, gusset on the back there. So between all that, should be plenty strong enough. Came out real nice. So I've already got the one on this side in. It came out real good. You can't really see it in there, but it's nice. So I gotta get this side on, then I got to loosen the bolts, jack the truck up a little, or jack the motor up a bit, so I can pull the front boards out, and then let it sit on the mounts and see how it does. So. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna install the mount and then go from there. But I'm pretty stoked with how it came out. Not too bad. All right, so we got the uh, motor mounts all in. They look good. They definitely put in quite a lot of stress on that stock mount, but I think we'll find, once I step up to urethane mounts, we'll be just fine. I think the urethane will hold it up. But it gives the motor plenty of movement. As you can see here, so it lays back something like this. But the motor's front heavy, so it wants to lean forward, which is good for us sitting here right now. But once we get the transmission on, we can set the angle and all that looks, will look good. But mounts are in, it moves a little bit, it'll hold itself, it's just sitting on the pulley right now. Clearance is good everywhere. I'm actually really, really stoked with how this came out. The mounts look really good, they look real strong. 
they should do just fine. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna get some friends over here. I get Joe probably back over here, and we're gonna put the whole front end back together, put the hood back on it, and then we'll push her back out. And that gets the 12 valve mounted in there and out of our way. But uh, yeah, pretty stoked with how it came out and uh, pushing right along. So like I said, uh, like always, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let us know what you guys think of stuff like this. This is, uh, was not that super hard. It was a lot of fab work with cutting everything and getting the, uh, the, the brackets and everything welded up and done. But as far as, you know, the whole thing goes, it wasn't terrible. So, all right, we'll see you guys in the next one.